Hi, this is Brian and Brad, and we're going to show you real quick an uh, explanation of how to use head games uh, if you're wondering how to do that. So, uh, Brad, go ahead and pull up the control screen. Or actually, let's go see what it looks like. This is ultimately what it's going to look like uh, when the kids are walking in and you're taking a look at the game. They're going to see this. They're going to know, hey, we're playing head games. They're going to be taking everybody's picture and, and stuff. Up, how would you excited. set up the game? Yeah, and the actual gameplay would be, okay, this is actual what the game would look like, okay? Okay, kids, we're going to play a game of head games. You're all playing. If we took your picture, Yay! we're ready to go. It's kind of exciting. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Brad's going to, when we go, I'm going to explain what task you have to complete before we select one of the eight people on here, right? If you're one of the eight people selected, that means you're playing the game, okay? So, ready? Hit it. All right. The first person who can bring me three left shoes right up here and give me a high five with three left shoes is going to win, right? It's Free one of these eight Yay. people right here. I need to bring three left shoes right here. It's going to be one of these eight people. Ready? Go. At that point, they run around crazy. They're finding shoes. They're picking up stuff. It's a fantastic time. They love it. And then what's going to happen, you get to the end of that and say, okay, okay, we were just starting. Okay, now we're going to try something even harder. And you can play several of these right in a row. It's real simple. It's going to pick eight people first. And then it's going to pick the next time you play, it's going to play, pick eight different people. It's going to keep going. Well, now, what if you don't want to pick eight people? Oh, if you don't want to pick eight people, that's a, great, that's a great question. Brad, go ahead and pull up the control screen, and we'll kind of walk through that on what some of your different options are. So this is the control screen. Uh, it starts off, if you've only got a one, if you're only testing this off of your laptop, whenever you hit that on button, you're gonna see a secondary window, right? Our games are designed for two screens. You got a control computer and then a big display, like a projector or a monitor or something. And whenever you hit that on button, it's gonna go from this computer up to full screen on that secondary monitor. If you don't have the secondary monitor hooked up, you're gonna see a smaller window that you can't really maximize. Don't worry about that. It works with a secondary monitor hooked up that is not in mirroring mode. That's pretty important. Um, so you're gonna hit the on button. Before you even hit the on button, you want to select the folder that has all the photos of your kids. Now you can get the photos in there in lots of different ways. Like Dropbox. Dropbox is a great example. We love Dropbox. Yeah. <laughs> you can use your cell phone and just take pictures, upload them to Dropbox, point this at that folder. Uh, if you want to use Instagram, we've got a great uh, a program called Instagrabber. You can grab the photos off of Instagram and use those photos. Lots of different ways you can get photos in there. If you just want to take them with a regular old camera and upload them to your computer, you can do that as well if you want to. But you just want to point this folder at wherever those, those pictures are located at. Once you hit update pics, and you can even do this live as you're taking photos to see how many you got. You might want to say, we don't even want to play the game until we have at least 30 pictures in there or at least 100 pictures in there depending on your crowd size. Um, under setup, if you mouse over that, if you hover over that, it kind of floats up there. Sometimes people take pictures with their phone this way, and some people take their picture with phones this way. This will correct that. If you click the vertical button versus but the horizontal, all it's of your switch. photos have to be the same. Yeah, it's either you, all you of them this way or this way. All this way or all this way, but it can't do mix. It's going to shift them all this way or shift them all that way. But that's how you do that during setup. You can also pick your own music if you want to. I know some people have an edgier feel to their sound. They want to do that. Uh, we have some really funny uh, saber music that you can play. And then the only other thing you got to do is over here is where you can select your number of players. So if you only want four people to be playing, select four people, and we'll do that. So the actual gameplay is, how oh, can we actually do it? You'll click on the play button. Uh, you go from this. This is called the logo mode. So you can see the logo and stuff. Once you hit play, it goes through this. It'll cycle through. Once this is done, you'll probably want to go back to the logo mode to explain the next game or the next task that you have to complete. There's our four people. Look There's, at Seth. Look, he turned three, three, sideways. Four. Oh, yeah. See, and that's why you want to have all your photos uh, uniform. We did that on purpose. That was on purpose. Yeah, that's just for testing. All right. All right. Well, hey, thanks a bunch. Hope you guys enjoy head games. All right. Thanks so much.